So here's a quick overview of the assembly for the X version of the Anit. So for starters, there's not a whole lot to it. On the power side goes the vertical bar that has the two holes in it. All right, those two holes are used to mount the motor itself. And then right above that is the bracket that activates the Z-stop. Let's see if I can't get you in there where you can see all that. Anyhow, those use the little screws that fit down in the grooves. Uh, there's not a whole lot much more to do with that. The top piece goes on. This green stuff used to be down in here in the main groove. The motor housing slides on. Uh, what else is weird? You've got these little nuts. They're eccentric nuts. So uh, as you spin them, they just get tighter or looser. So you just spin them until they're in the perfect spot. Like this has got a little bit of spin to it, but you know there you can feel some friction as you spin it. Uh, and there wasn't too much else to put together. Let's see if I can't get you a better view of that bracket over there. So there's that. Yeah, uh, pretty straightforward. Easy to put together. Anybody can really figure it out. Like I said, the only thing wrong with the picture was knowing that the vertical with the two holes in it goes in the power supply side. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward.